suits this role better. So that's how I'm gonna run it. Uh, you know, I was bouncing around, I was yanking stuff out of the belt, I was you know shoving the gun into the holster real hard. Hey folks, welcome back to Bolts and Brass. We're doing a quick video, two parts. One, as you can see, I am back to running the LEPC Bear. Uh, no pouches, no gear, I, my tiptoes. There's nothing on it, just the plates, uh, soft plates. For the simple reason that it was not convenient. Uh, putting the, the pouches in, basically, the lancers would come out, but still not great. And the P mags, which are what I majority use, did not come out. I mean, you were, you were smashing yourself in the neck and the chin with the carrier. That's just not okay, that, that's pointless. And while that was not, you know, my goal was not to run this bear when I bought it, uh, I was actually going to use the Slickster that way. In practice, it works better this way. Uh, it just does. It, it suits this role better. So that's how I'm gonna run it. Um, it's going to be my lightweight, slim, you know, throw it under something else if I want to. Just basic setup. And as you know, I'm a fan of belts. I, I use my, my belt rig way more than I use anything on a chest rig. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sweat it. Uh, if I had spent a shitload of money on it, I might feel differently and would be trading it in. I didn't. Uh, you know, these are not super expensive plate carriers. I don't feel like I didn't get my money's worth. It's just something to keep in mind. Um, I think that this pouch is way, this kangaroo pouch is way better served as something other than magazines. Now, when I put the magazines on the outside, was not the end of the world, worked okay. Uh, not great, but it worked. The other issue is, and I, I put them away already, unfortunately, I was gonna grab them. The pouches for those, the 762 sized pouches, did not fit, could not get them in there. That's the triple turnover, from uh, Ferro Concepts. It is not particularly wide spacing. Uh, there's nothing crazy about it. It is a pretty typical piece of hardware. I was putting it in with the mags, but it was not, like there was no way you were going to put it in. Uh, even if I hadn't had the mags in there, once I got it in, I would not have been able to get the mags in. It was not fitting. Uh, good, easy, three eighths of an inch short. Now, the majority of that is simply because this pouch doesn't have a whole lot of extra room. It is flat stitched in place, okay? So there's no, no gusset on the side to, to extend it outward to fit those pouches. So when you go stick something that thick, because remember the, the 762 Max, significantly thicker. So what fit with the 223 Max, the 556 Max, did not fit with the 762s. And that may have been part of why the PMAX did not cooperate. Um, just that they were, it was being crunched just enough that the extra friction they created was too much. It is what it is, uh, but I'll probably buy some sort of like basic admin pouch, thin insert uh, to put in here, just something to hold, you know, a pocket knife, some pen, um, you know, maybe a, a little bit of a map and, you know, phone card and, you know, that kind of thing, you know, whatever it is, but, but thin. Now, the other item, this is really basic item, okay? High speed gear. This is a replacement for a cheaper one that I bought on Amazon. Now, I didn't buy cheap, cheap. I bought a name brand. Uh, it was only slightly cheaper. The construction quality was not even close. Uh, I'm glad I lost it, to be honest, because I thought that was typical. I thought that was the norm. It got reviews that indicated that, that was pretty normal, if not better than average. 
this makes it look like a piece of shit, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to name names, but it was, it was comparatively lousy. This, if you're familiar with these kind of belts, this is a, an inner belt to put through your belt loops. Uh, it's all Velcro. And you tighten it up. And that's holding your pants within reason. Uh, but then the Velcro is on the outside. And you put your training belt over that so that it's not through your belt loops. You're not dealing with having to thread it and get pouches on and all that. You're just putting it on over. So it's easy on, easy off. And this keeps it from, from moving around. Okay. This is $26. The other one was probably 23. The whole thing, you know, very flexible. You know, it, it just curly cues, does whatever you want. Um, much sleeker. The attachment is only a little bit. It's only this end piece. The whole inside is not Velcro. So you put it over and you attach it to the outside wherever you need to. Uh, this particular one goes up to 40 inches. Uh, it really goes further, but that doesn't give you enough engagement in their opinion. Uh, I usually wear a 36. So to me, this is plenty of room. It really is a little too much. Uh, I'm barely, like I'm stuck in the end into my belt loop. Um, but whatever, uh, if I wear different pants, if I've been eating too much, if my diet goes the other way, whatever, uh, the next size down is really too small for me. But the big thing to me is the flexibility. This is comfortable, this is practical. This doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't get in the way, it isn't annoying to deal with, yet when you're using it, you get all the benefits. It works absolutely perfectly. I cannot say enough, if you are in the market for one of these, get the high speed gear one. Uh, there may be other brands that are at that level, but I've tried a few now, uh, and none of them were up to this level. Uh, a couple bucks extra, worth every penny. Uh, let's face it, you know, core gear like this, particularly when it's this cheap, you know, when you're not talking, you know, this kind of stuff, uh, going cheap is just an exercise in frustration. Uh, in my case, I didn't think I was going cheap initially. I, I shopped around and bought something that seemed to be decent, clearly wrong. And, but you will be seeing more of this. I, I'm not doing a video right now of, of me using it, but I have messed around with it. I have been wearing it around. I have done some drills with it and no issues with the fact that it's, you know, much more flexible and soft. You know, the Velcro holds real well. It doesn't uh, stick, you know, when it's not supposed to, but it doesn't let go when it's not supposed to. Uh, one of the things the other belt did, when you went to take off your belt, the outer belt, it was tough. I mean, it did not, you just could not get that off there. Uh, it was like peeling it piece by piece. This, just pull it off. It was enough grab on, keep in mind, it's a high speed gear outer belt too. <laughs> uh, but they got the grip just right. It is plenty to keep it in place and not so much that you feel like you're fighting it. And to me, that's ideal. You know, I was bouncing around, I was yanking stuff out of the belt, I was, you know, shoving the gun into the holster real hard, no issues. It never felt like it was trying to slip. But the minute I wanted to take it off, I basically just peeled the whole thing off and, and didn't have to fight with it. It took two seconds. Exactly what I want. Anyway, take care, have fun, stay safe, stay out of trouble, guys.